Good morning, guys. So, um, I realized that when I film with my phone, it's super shaky. So, I'm trying to, like, stay still, but I still see that it's shaky. Um, but I am going to show you guys what I eat in a day, a normal day for me. Um, I'm starting my day today, actually, with avocado toast. So, I really start my day with three things. Um, avocado toast, oatmeal, or a smoothie. So most days it's a smoothie because it's just easy, it's delicious, and I can just go about my business. But I really wanted to like make something. So if you want to see how I make my avocado toast, toast and what I eat in a day, just keep on watching. Okay. So. All right. So the first thing I do is put a little bit. Well, I turn my pan on. That would be nice. Put it on like six. I don't know what's that. Medium high. My high is eight. So I get a little pat of butter. It looks like it's like not even, it's like a quarter tablespoon. And I put it on my pan. So remember, this is for my portion after I have bariatric surgery. So this is the bread that I use. It is Walmart brand. I promise, Walmart does not sponsor me, but their stuff is just good and cheap. So this is the organic, thin sliced multi-grain with seeds so i freeze mine because um, i'm the only one that eats it and i don't want any of it to go to waste so this is what it looks like it's so good it has like the poppy seeds and sunflower seeds and stuff in it so um i just let the butter melt okay so while the butter is heating up let me get a little spatula I just want it to stay kind of in one place since I'm making one piece of bread. <laughs> so while that is heating up, I cut up two grape tomatoes and I scored my avocado. Let me get a spoon. So I'm just going to scoop it out into a little container. I know some people like to leave it like chunky like this, but I like to mash it up and really like spread it on there. So I do use like a whole half an avocado does that make sense i use a half an avocado <laughs> so this one is perfectly ripe i even like it even a tad bit more ripe or is nice and squishy okay so that's it and then i mash it up inside of whatever container probably will help with a fork but i don't want to feel like dirtying up another so my butter is melted, so I'm just going to put the bread. So the bread already starts to defrost really quickly. So keeping bread frozen is really a good money saver if, like, like I don't eat bread too often. So I didn't want to waste, like, a whole loaf of bread just because I wanted some avocado toast from time to time. So this has been so helpful to, like, cut down. So it doesn't have to be, so the avocado doesn't have to be, like, guacamole consistency. I mean, it can be, but I just like it to have it mushed up. So, yeah, if it was a little bit more, um, was ripened, it would have mashed up perfectly. But I just want it just enough to just spread, still have some chunkies, you know. Okay, so to the avocado mixture, I put a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder. Okay, so to the mashed up avocado, I added a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder just to season it because avocado really doesn't have much of a flavor. I mean, it has like its own flavor, but it's really mild. So that I don't put any salt and pepper until the end because I put it all on top. So I just flip my bread real quick. You see this outfit? I did some. Um, I'm doing some pre-filming, and since this is since this is a whole day for me, I figured I would show you guys what I eat in the day um, when I'm working, taking care of the kids, all that good stuff. So it has to be really quick nutritious bariatric friendly so it's a lot of stuff um 
luckily I am blessed to work from home so that's you know I know some of you work outside of the home but some of these things you can still meal prep so I'm gonna try to do this a couple days a week and just compile it into one video so um yeah I will be back with the next steps okay so my bread is nice and toasty and golden so the first thing you do is of course you put the avocado on last time I made two slices of this because I was really excited and I just I just couldn't eat both slices so one is great you just spread it on there almost like a chicken salad or a tuna salad or something like that because it's nice and chunky See? then you put your tomatoes on So this is when I like to put my salt and pepper because I feel like tomatoes need seasoning too. So here is a little bit of salt, just a little bit, and then the pepper. Kind of open that bad boy up. A little bit of pepper. And then I put a little bit of chopped onion on mine because I just love I really use chopped onion on almost everything I eat and this container is almost at its end of life also from Walmart for some reason I couldn't find um full like beans but and then the star of the show is this everything bagel seasoning so walmart does sell this now you don't have to go to your trader joe's i load this up because this i feel like just makes it okay so that's it and it's only five calories for a quarter teaspoon which is basically what you put on there so this is what it looks like let me show you guys so this is what the finished product looks like. I'm going to eat this, drink my water, and get my day started. I'm so excited. So yeah, if you're watching, thank you guys. And follow me on my social media. All links will be below. Bye guys. Okay, so I'm at my desk about to get my computer for work. And I'm having my avocado toast, some lemon water, and my shake. Which, oh the shake. But I have to start getting them down. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy what I have for breakfast. Alright, so it's like an hour later and I just wanted something sweet. So I got these whole wheat Big Newtons. I love Big Newtons. So I figured whole wheat would be a little healthier. Um, so yeah, just 100 calories, um, not 12 grams of sugar, which isn't the best. I probably just eat probably two the serving suggestion so it's just one it's one gram of protein so whatever it's better than stuff that has zero grams of protein but yeah this is gonna be my snake um these are a lot drier than regular fig newtons you know how the regular ones are nice and they're and moist these are drier so keep my water which i have not i've been so busy that i haven't drank much so i'm gonna get on this and then i'll see you guys later Okay, so it is now 3 o'clock and I'm making lunch. Sorry, did something. Okay, so um, I'm making these green giant veggie tops, broccoli and cheese. It's just, I know I still haven't added much protein in today, but um, it does have 4 grams of protein for, four and a, for 6 pieces. So I'll probably make that serving size. So yeah, these are so good. I just eat them with ketchup. These are so good. Like I hate that they're limited edition. But yeah, I just put them in the oven at 350 degrees. I check them. Like I usually sit nearby and if I smell them, I know it's time to flip them. But that's probably around 10 minutes in. So yeah, I'll show you what they look like in a second. So this is what they look like all frozen. So I'm using my iPhone like because I have the lights off at home trying to make a nap ambiance for the kids but yeah so just stick it in the oven and yeah i'll be back all right guys so this is my lunch it's so good so look 
They're nice and crunchy. I'm trying to open these up. Open them up with one hand. Nice and broccoli and cheesy. I mean, who doesn't like broccoli and cheese? I mean, come on. With some ketchup and it is so lit. So yeah, that's what I'm having for lunch. All right, I guess I see you guys at dinner time. It'll be a late dinner. I'm working till nine, but see you guys later.